Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and apologies if my voice sounds a little bit rough. I woke up like maybe 30 minutes ago, so I haven't had a chance to uh, uh, really get ready or anything, but I had to make this video because they just showed off the brand new Waterfowl rework on the Expansive World stream, and I gotta say, it is absolutely incredible. This is by far the most exciting thing to come to Call of the Wild in a very long time, and once again, EW has done something that is just even more than I would have ever expected. Which is amazing to see because I know for the longest time we had a pretty rough period in Call of the Wild. Uh, between the release of Silver Ridge Peaks and uh, Rancho Del Arroyo I feel like was the worst time for Call of the Wild when it comes to bugs and things like that. And recently it seems like they are really trying their best to make sure that everything is working as intended and really really good for the community. So before we go any further in the video, I just wanted to real quickly mention that there is no release date as of now. They have said there will not be a release date or a trailer this week, so unfortunately, no new news as to when we'll get a chance to play this map, but I'm assuming it'll be roughly the same time as previous maps, which would be mid to late June. And as I'm sure most of you are here for the Waterfowl rework and want to see some highlights of the actual duck hunting, we will get to that shortly, however I did want to go over some information first. Now, I did miss the first half of this stream, so some of this information was uh, collected via my moderators and Discord, so we're going to go over some of the information. So it looks like the best spot to hunt these uh, the waterfowl species is going to be in the bottom right of the map. It seems like that is one of the best locations, so if you wanted a quick location that's going to be pretty good once you get on this map, it seems that the bottom right is a pretty solid waterfowl area. You are not able to shoot ptarmigans on the ground, which is a little bit interesting. It's only the ptarmigans. The rest of them you can shoot while they're on the ground. I don't know why they opted to go with just one uh, set of species that you can't shoot on the ground because there is just the willow and rock ptarmigan. And so that's going to make it so it's willow ptarmigan, rock ptarmigan, pheasant, and I believe the quail that you can't shoot on the ground, which is going to be really interesting to have only those species uh, get a grounded score whenever you shoot them on the ground. It seems like all ducks and geese you can shoot when they land, which is... It's an interesting, interesting thing. I'm not sure why they decided to separate it between some of the bird species, but... You know, I'm okay with it because I, I do kind of like being able to shoot the, the ducks just wherever, even though in most cases with this new rework, you really won't get a chance to shoot them anywhere except out of the sky, which is really nice. I'm really happy with these changes that they've made and we'll be showing that off in a little bit. So another thing that was kind of interesting is that decoys are not 100% required. They will come straight to the collars, but the decoys do make it so that you can get them a little bit closer to where you want them, therefore making it easier to get some shots on them. So you definitely don't have to use the decoys if you don't have enough money to buy all of them. But it will make it easier, it'll make it so the ducks get closer to you if you have the decoys set up in front of you. But it's not 100% required, so if you want to hunt some ducks but you don't have the money to spend on decoys, then you'll still be able to hunt them, which is amazing. I'm really happy that they decided to go that route, that way it's different than the goose hunting on Hirschfelden. And I'm assuming that those will have got a rework as well, I, they didn't really show off any goose hunting today, it was mainly ducks. But it was uh, still pretty interesting, very nice compared to what the old system was. You will also be able to have a total of over 1,400 decoys on your map because each species you'll be able to have roughly a little bit over 100 decoys for. Which is crazy, that is an absurd amount of decoys. I, I don't think that you would be able to put every single decoy on the map because that would just take ages. And I mean, at the one point I'm probably going to try it just to see how it does. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to create like a second account and get Rev on Tuli Coast on it and just place 1400 decoys out. I don't want to do that on my main account because that would just, that would take forever and probably take forever to pick up and would probably cause some laggy issues. So uh, let me know if you want me to make a second account and place all 1400 decoys because I think that could be kind of cool. Now the next thing that we're going to talk about is they did completely rework all the callers in the game to give them a better visual look. I don't think they changed any of the sounds, but they gave a nice visual overhaul to all of the new callers and all of the old callers as well. They look really good. They look a lot nicer than the previous ones did. At the old callers, they always kind of looked a bit like, uh, what's the word? A bit like fake and plasticky, but these new ones actually look pretty nice. They've got a, a much smoother look to them. A lot more of a, uh, like, I guess a glossy laminated look to a lot of these calls, which is nice. It's good to see that they decided to give them a little bit of love. Another thing that's going to be a little controversial is the ducks now fly. 
much, much faster than before, making the 22 pretty much useless. So don't ever use the 22 on these ducks. It really doesn't look like it's going to be a viable option. Um, obviously, if they're flying away and you just want to try and uh, toss a few Hail Marys out there to try and get one, then the 22 will still be usable. But as far as your main gun, it's going to be shotguns now. It looks like the 22 is no longer the king of the bird hunting. However, the 22 Hornet might still be pretty good because it does have a much faster bullet travel time. So I imagine the 22 Hornet is actually going to be a pretty decent option for taking out those ducks that get away from your shotgun. So we'll have to test that once we get uh, the ability to play this map, which I'm assuming will be within a month. But uh, as of now, we don't really know. But it's going to be great. I'm actually really excited to see these changes come because I felt like the 22 has been the king of waterfowl for way too long, which is very unrealistic. You don't typically shoot ducks off the water with a 22 in real life. So it makes sense that they would make it. So that's not really a thing anymore. And it's great to see. Very happy about it. The next thing that we're going to talk about is the Red Raptor has got a massive overhaul and they showed off all of it on the live stream. You can now customize literally every aspect of the Red Raptor Reflex site and this is huge. This is exactly what we needed to make this site usable and I'm 100% going to be using this thing a lot. I wish it was a little bit farther away from the camera still. I really wish it would have been zoomed out, but it is what it is. It's still going to be a lot of fun to use and it's going to be a good site regardless. And I can kind of understand why they do have it so zoomed into the camera. I imagine it would be difficult to um, to get it to look natural with it being smaller, but still having the entire camera zoom in like most of the sites do in Call of the Wild. Because uh, as you guys have probably noticed, you can kind of see the uh, peripherals a little bit when you're looking through a scope, but it zooms the entire screen in, not just the scope part. So I can kind of see why they would want the, the Red Raptor to cover most of the screen just for, I guess, visual looks so that it doesn't uh, throw you guys off. But at the same time, I kind of wish they'd just go the picture in picture route where only the scope is zoomed in and the rest of the screen isn't. It would make for a more realistic experience, but at the end of the day, they've already got it set up this way. So I imagine it's not as simple as just swapping it over. So now that we've gone over some of the uh, little details that they gave out, let's go ahead and look at some of the footage. And you guys will have seen the layout blind getting used throughout the uh, stuff that I've been showing up in the background of this commentary. But I just wanted to say that a lot of these brand new duck species might be some of the nicest looking birds in the game, especially the Eurasian teal, which uh, we'll get to showing the Eurasian teal in a little bit. Um, First, let's take a look at all these other ones. They've got like the golden eyes and the tufted ducks, which do look very good as well. The tufted ducks are going to be one of those species where I didn't expect to like them as much as I do, but they look so fantastic that I can't help but think I'm going to be hunting these things a ton. Uh, but the Eurasian teal, I think, is definitely going to be my number one most hunted duck species on this new map. They are by far the most gorgeous bird that we have in Call of the Wild, in my opinion. Absolutely stunning and beautiful and is something that I hope to be taking down a ton of in the near future. So let's hope that we can get access to this map soon because it is looking like this is going to be some of the most fun that you could have in Call of the Wild with some of the most beautiful birds in the entire game. Oh, and we also got Jack's Beard executing a duck at point blank. Oh gosh, that poor thing. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and end it there. This is just a quick update on what they showed off in the EW live stream. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click that like button and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you're most excited for with this brand new update and whether or not you think the map is the star of the show or the waterfowl rework is the star of the show. Because the more I look at it, I'm more excited for the waterfowl rework than I am the map. And that's not a dis that's not discrediting the map either because it's a very beautiful map and I do think it's going to be a top map for me. But the waterfowl rework is just so good that it is really taking the spotlight and I'm happy to see it. It really does look like it has beat classic system. Uh, I know there's going to be a few classic uh, diehards that are going to still prefer classic system. But I've I got to say the way they've made it so that the ducks interact with the knee zones and still have them flying around a lot is great. I don't know how they managed to do it, but they've done a great job and it makes it so the ducks actually act very realistically, which is amazing to see. And I'm super excited for it. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.